Hi, it's me again with Pharrell Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last week, I posted this video on how to do this. And I actually, let's do this right here. So this is the way, this is the way I, you need to type it out. So I try, I've got both of them selected. Now you can go to, uh, go to Windows, Dockers, go down to Text, Text Property. It's going to open up the property bar. I've got both these text selected. I'm going to hit this down arrow. I'm going to go small caps auto. And this is exactly the text I wanted. The customer wanted a, a larger first letter in a, the, but all of them caps. And instead of, you know, rearranging them and typing them out and making them bigger. But Randy Allen with engraving concepts in Arlington, Texas was trying to tell me how to do this over Facebook and you can highlight, and I think the blue highlight is only an X6 and X7. I'm running X7 right now. But if you'll hit, hold down the Shift Control K button, it's already it does it automatically. You don't have to open up a Docker. So you could do this, Control Shift K, and because those were all lowercase letters, it made them all uppercase letters in the same size. This one particular. So if you want it like that, you need to type it like this, an upper a capital and then the other three. Another thing I was just playing around today with text, I've got hundreds of texts. And let's say instead of cursoring down all the way down to you know a particular text, if you will just highlight that text bar and go start typing the text you want and then hit enter, it'll change that text. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter if you've got hundreds of texts. So we want Rockwell, hit enter, you got Rockwell. So it saves you the time of cursoring down. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.